Attorney Jonathan Elson, reminding you that if you've been injured in an auto accident, it's important to have somebody on your side. When you need a lawyer, then you need Nelson. You need News 25 has learned that the proposed restructuring plan at Front Sight Firearms Training Institute is now on hold. In the latest letter to members from founder Dr. Ignatius Piazza, he tells members the proposed changes will not take effect, at least for now, giving the institute time to gain input from its members. In the letter dated January 27th, Piazza says members will not lose their membership, Front Sight will not impose membership maintenance fees, and Front Sight will continue to operate as it did prior to the restructuring notice, made to members January 24th. Piazza goes on to say any future changes will only be made after receiving input from its members, which Front Sight will gather through surveys which are now being prepared for distribution. Many members balked at the proposed changes which required them to pay, among a number of additional charges, a monthly account maintenance fee of $50 or risk losing their membership and forfeiting any benefits. Some had even reached out to attorneys to discuss the possibility of a class action lawsuit against Front Sight and it wouldn't be the first time. I first became involved with Front Sight back in about 2005 um, when I was approached by a number of members who felt that they were being defrauded by Ignatius Piazza, that they paid a lot of money to Front Sight and that uh, he wasn't spending the money on um, improving the facility as he promised to, that he was siphoning money out of Front Sight and to his own you know, personal accounts. And so we filed a class action against Front Sight back then. We eventually wound up selling the lawsuit for $8 million at that time back in, I think, 2007, 2008. Despite that lawsuit and the judgment against Front Sight, Greer says 15 years later, it appears nothing has changed. And all of a sudden, out of the blue, I get an email that basically says your lifetime membership is going to be revoked. And in lieu of that, now you can start paying $50 a month to keep it. And I am on a couple of Facebook groups with other front site members. And I could hear the collective jaw dropping across the United States. I thought to myself, the first thing we should probably do is get organized. And what better way to organize than Facebook? So I start a uh, Facebook group called uh, Front Site Lawsuit, for lack of a better name and an email to go along with it. And within 24 hours, we have a thousand people. Another 24 hours, we've got 2,200. It'll probably keep climbing. Yeah. Somebody then uh, took it upon themselves to contact the DA, to contact the sheriff. It does kind of feel like there's a buildup to, to a dump off. You know, you read stories, and, uh, articles of organizations in the past that have done similar things to try and collect as much revenue as they can before they file a bankruptcy. And that really is what this feels like because as recent as last month, he was selling $125,000 or $120,000 memberships called the night membership mm -hmm. uh, for the purpose of, you know, getting the, it was, it was to entice the top tier members to help support the effort with this law firm or against this lawsuit. I'm uh, waiting to see how this all shakes out. And I'm hoping that in fact, his last email um, at, at least is, is credible. I think part of the reason that he's backtracking is because he reads the writing on the wall. Now, if you go into a liquor store to rob it, and then you realize there's a bunch of cops in there, and then you turn around and walk out, are you still going to get prosecuted? I don't know. Maybe maybe he says, oops, I made a mistake, and uh, does a mea culpa, and this thing uh, blows over. I think that's probably the most likely scenario. That's what I would hope for, because honestly, nobody here wants to see him or the organization destroyed. He's not telling us anything that's going on. He's making yeah. all these decisions, and he's not telling us the reason for it. Mm. Um, so I've talked to the Attorney General of Nevada, and they recommended anybody who's having a dispute with Front Sight to go on their website, um, fill out the form, and if they get enough um, complaints against Front Sight, then they will investigate. I think it's members should be concerned. I think that quick action is needed. Um, if they don't call me, they should contact, you know, counsel of their choice. And uh, the more, the better. This is, you know, that's uh, the, the more members that step forward, the more members that put effort into 
fixing this problem, the more likely it's going to be fixed. Piazza said the changes were necessary to save FrontSight from possible foreclosure. A company originally contracted to help FrontSight raise money for a major expansion filed a lien on the property and is threatening foreclosure, alleging FrontSight failed to make payments as agreed. It's a legal issue that's been going on for four years. Piazza, in a 15-page letter to members earlier this week, said FrontSight had never failed to pay as agreed. In Thursday's letter, Piazza Piazza thanked the thousands of members who immediately paid their membership maintenance fees and sent emails of understanding and support. Those members are now being recognized as Gold Star members, and they'll receive Gold Star pens to wear. So, as Piazza explains, the concierge staff at Front Sight will know those members are the best of the best. Gold Star members will also receive five to ten times what they've paid in membership fees in so-called Front Sight bucks, which members can use to purchase ammunition and items from the pro shop.